Hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now, I did say in my last video, or depends on where, when this and that video goes up, but if you want a like, uh, rant video, please let me know. But after getting on today and playing this game, it's just, I can't, I can't not make this video because I am truly a little bit massively pissed off of this game. Now don't get me wrong, before anyone starts, mm, track you shit the game, you're just bad, get better. Like, I ain't trying to brag, but I have a 3.61 AKIA and a 2.9 KD. I'm obviously not trying to brag. I'm not a bad player at the game. I'm a decent player, I'm not bad. Right. And oh, Jack, you you strike team to get nukes. Like, yeah, I'll still get streaks, it's just, I'll get into that as we go on. But don't go, don't like, take me like the wrong way. So I do like this game, it's just a, a these nerfs seem a little bit, eh, a little bit suspicious to me. So starting off with, I think what annoys me the fuck to most, and this is on every card, is Ghost. Ghost just, honestly, I hate Ghost. I hate the way you can just slap a perk on and just avoid a radar like it's nothing. Like obviously in IW it was worse because you avoid a standing still. But in this you avoid Ghost if you are moving or any sort, like planting bombs or calling score streaks. Now... As much as I hate Ghost and I think it shouldn't be in the game, I'm accepting it is going to be in the game. But why the fuck is it unlocked at level 4? Why is it on every single default class, Ghost is the, first, like, the default perk 3? Or, I think for class 1, I mean, no noobs don't use anything other than class 1. They'll put everything in class 1 and leave Ghost there. So everyone has Ghost. And that just works hand in hand with the fact that Ghost counters recon specialist abilities, which is uh, Vision Pulse. Like you, I think you pulse for about maybe a fifth of the time, which is just not... It's just not enough, considering that's a specialist ability, which you'll learn twice a game, three times a game with um, equipment charge. But to only be pulsed for a, like a fifth of a second is a bit of a joke. And it also counts as your sensor dart as well, which is the other specialist ability he has. And that also goes hand in hand with the fact that UAVs only last for 20 seconds on this game, while considering to every other, like going back to every single Call of Duty game, Ever, they've lasted for 30 seconds. That's just an absolute piss take. And to make it worse, they cost a little bit more. They cost 550 points, which is five and a half kills in TDM, unless you're like playing OBJ and Hardpoint or Dom. You're not really going to get it in less than five kills. Now, it does kind of backlash this because you do get 25 score per assist, but obviously, um, for that to work, you've got to just you've got to take in mind that your teammates are shit. The teammates have got to get kills for you to get the points. And when you've got shit teammates, you're going to get kills, which means you ain't going to get points. It's it's a long loop of nope. It's just a long loop of absolute fuck all. So that's why UAVs and Ghosts are a little bit, like, suspicious in my opinion. Moving on, Ajax. Everyone hates Ajax. I don't think there's one person in the part of the community I'm in or the higher community, especially for competitive players, who like Ajax and agree for where he works. Now, first off, they did touch the shield ever so slightly, but that shield is just overpowered as fuck. Like, how can you have a shield what's unbreakable, what you can shove a pistol through a glory hole and start fucking shooting people with it? It just doesn't make sense. A shield is bad enough, like in World War Two, but a shield what you can have a pistol with as well is an absolute piss take. Now, to make it worse, they did not touch 9-bang at all, and if you've been 9-banged, I mean, if you haven't, you've clearly been living under a rock, but if you've been 9-banged on this game, that's it, your streak is over. It doesn't matter what streak you're on, doesn't matter where you are on the map, your streak is absolutely over if you get 9-banged. Now, Ajax is just hated flawlessly by the community, and so is Talk. Now, what, what have they decided to do to Talk? They decided to buff Talk's shield, so that the people sitting behind the Talk shield, like an absolute little faggot, decides to get more points per assist or kill sitting behind the shield. Now, it was bad enough because people had inventive play styles with Talk. For example, they'd sit in the corner of a hard point, put uh, barbed wire in front of them and put the uh, shield right in front of them and crouch behind their little shield all game of a hard point and milk 45 seconds off the hill. Like, that's just, no, that can't be happening. You can't just sit in a corner with a microwave turret and barbed wire and just not move the whole game, teabagging me when you kill me after every single fucking head glitch you sit on. Now, moving on to that, the nerf on the ICR, the nerf, I think the headshot damage, absolutely fucking pointless, feels exactly the same. Hand in hand with that, the nerfed grip too, which is probably the main problem with the ICR, being it's the laser beam. It that doesn't, it feels exactly the same, I use the ICR for a few games, it feels literally exactly the same. So, I don't think we've done much of that, personally. But, I mean, I don't, I wasn't a massive ICR faggot anyway, so if you're one of them faggots who use the ICR constantly, then please let me know if it feels different, because it just doesn't at all. 
in a way to fix the ICR, I think nerf the damage range a little bit and nerf the fire rate slightly. There we go, bang, done. Now there's been absolutely zero nerf to the rampart, so that means you can still uh, free shot people in the chest with a uh, double high cal, which is absolutely fucking broken. Because, I mean, why, high cal 1 was bad enough on Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. High cal 2 was just, it's just a big nope. It just is just a big nope. Why can, why can you two bullet or three bullet somebody to the chest? On a, on a game where it's like a longer time to kill anyway, I don't understand. Now, a big thing about the change is the strike team doesn't count towards nukes anymore. Now, I personally don't have a massive problem with this because nukes in their past card games have always been all gun kills and I, I accept that, but in a game, sorry, in a game where UAVs are pretty much fucking useless, sensor dart is pretty much fucking useless, and vision pulse is useless if everyone using ghost, then you need something to help you onto them streaks. You can't be just expecting to run UAV counter, UAV counter, UAV counter because everyone's got ghosts on and it doesn't even matter anyway. Then somewhere across the line you're going to get bullshitted by talk, Ajax, body armor. There's just too much random bullshit in this game what's going to actually stop you from getting your nuke. Which is why I think a hater would be nice in this game or at least an advanced UAV where like on Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3 or IW where it didn't update in real time but ghost wasn't immune to it. So... I think that would be a nice addition, just try it out for a weekend, please listen to the community track. Because, like, yeah, there's been some stuff that has been patched, what we've asked for, but for the most part it seems to be mostly negative. And the thing what I've noticed is skill-based matchmaking. Now, I'm not sure if this is a thing, but it does feel like I'm getting slightly more sweaty lobbies. Like, I don't know if that's just because, like, Timmy no from 69 hasn't updated his game yet, or Quiet Pup 623 hasn't, like, you know, updated his. But I feel as if, like, the first game I got back on after this patch, I matched a six-man in domination. Like, why, why am I thrown into 1v6s? Like, I'm, I'm a solo player. I don't want to be playing a six-man, and that's, there. Uh, Brings me on to the next point is why remove solo capture mosh pit? They said in, when this game was released, uh, like in the, in the past, like uh, talks about it, that it's a it's, it's more tactical based Call of Duty. I think it was in like the most tactical Call of Duty they've ever made. So for them to say that and then remove a solo capture mosh pit game mode where solo players like me and many others could go in and play against other solo players, it was a lot more fair because this game relies a lot more on teamwork, like for example if you don't run scavenger, the guy who's playing crash needs to be good to drop the assault packs, or if you're like having a tough game, you, like it's a close game, your seraph needs to play his tactical deploy beacons at the right place, whereas mine just throws them back fucking spawn because I have no idea what they're doing. Like it's just, it, really, this game's really not friendly to the solo player at all, so I feel as if they should keep the solo capture mosh pit in, and don't get me wrong, they have added a solo TDM playlist, but TDM's just not for me. So that's another thing. I just TDM is not my thing on this game. Now the Seeker Mine, oh, Seeker Mine, just like the Flashbang, the Nine Bang, sorry, absolutely needs to fucking go. The amount of times I've been killed off street because of that little stupid Segway decides to come up and electrocute me and just bzz, 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 and just I'm sat there spazzing out because I can't shoot. That needs to go as well. That's far too overpowered. Same with the Nine Bang. Same with the Mesh Mine or the Mesh Mine. Maybe he's make it so you can see the beam a little bit more because I swear to god that beam is invisible because it just never you just can't see through the beam. You can't see it, it's practically invisible. Uh, the dog dog needs to fuck off. We reduced the um, health of a dog by I think 10%. Reduce it by at least about 40 because that thing is honestly like the fucking Terminator. So that needs to go, absolutely. And LMGs are still fucking ridiculous. You can't pick anyone off a head glitch if I've got an LMG. And if the sole point of an LMG is to just post up on a heady, right? Why has the Titan got stuck? If you can run around and just free bullet kids in the chest, why has it got stuck? You can beat a Maddox, you can beat, I don't know, Spitfire, a close range with a Titan because of how fucked it is. Um, well, Crash got nerfed as well. When you place these assault back down, you would get 50 points per, like, whenever somebody picked it up. You know, I want to get 25. Which has been the second nerf to Crash since for beta because of, um, when you used to use your attack 5, it would, um, give you 50, plus 50 points for every time you, um, a teammate, like, you heal them. Now it's only 25 and Crash has been nerfed again, which is, Crash and Recon are probably the only two viable specialists for a quote-unquote good player. Uh, the stim shot got nerfed as well, it takes about another quarter to a half a second to actually heal up, which I don't know why they decided to do that, because the stim shot is yet again the only viable option for the quote-unquote good player, because you're not going to use body armor 
acoustic sensor stuff like that that also needs to fuck off that acoustic sensor six sense was bad enough but six sense and awareness in one thing nah that's just an absolute no for me um body armor is still in the game why the fuck is that still in the game what why can somebody spawn in every single life with another 50 health absolute fucking joke and like why why can somebody sit on the back spawn with a head on a head glitch sorry with a titan with body armor with ghosts they just pre aiming me absolutely beaming me off my streak why is that a thing well, thing is with COD nowadays it just caters towards the shit players more than it caters towards the good players so I think removing body armor is probably a very good way to go and SMG still feel a little bit meh I do feel a little bit of an increase like in damage or overall like. Like, it just feels a lot better to use the MX-9 of a Cordite. But apart from that, I feel as if it's not really... They're not really amazing. I'm still getting beamed by ICRs up close, which shouldn't really be happening. If I've got an SMG and you've got an ICR and we're both around the same skill level, I should win about maybe three out of five times because obviously it equals skill and stuff. But I do kind of think ICR and... Well, ICR just needs to straight up fuck off. There's no, there's no, it just does. It just does. It just... I hate the gun. <laughs> I hate getting beamed back spawn from some kid sitting there just with an ICR with grip 2 because it literally does not move. Now, having said that, I think I've ranted about everything I wanted to. If I forgot anything, I'll cut the com and I'll add it at the end, but I'm pretty sure I've done everything. Now... I don't know how long this is going to be, it's now currently about 10 minutes, so I'll just throw some shitty little nuclears in the background. I think I'll probably throw the one I got on Contraband with the um, Maddox, and I think I'll throw a one on Frequency with the KN57. Now, having said that, thank you so much for watching. If you do want to see more type of this video, please let me know, because I'm up for content what you guys want to watch. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as you enjoy it, I'll upload it. Now, having said that, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one, and peace.